You've got it tuned to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. I'm down here in the KEXP studios. I think it's fair to say this is one of my favorite bands of all time. They have been so generous over the many, many years of their long career to share their time and music with us. I'm so happy to welcome Jungle live on KEXP. So 
Listening to Jungle live on KEXP. 74, you good? Yeah? D?
Gladys Jungle live on KEXP, a brand new album called Volcano. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. You know how much we love Jungle, and we're so happy to have been on this ride with you for so many years. And I just really love this incredible creative family that you've built over the last decade. You've created a world that encompasses so much more than music and just surrounded yourself with the most creative people. It's like a creative laboratory. And I'm wondering, what's it like to live in the jungle world? I think ultimately it's really fun. Um, I mean, we get to play music with our best friends on stage every night. We get to make videos with you know, London, Europe, the world's most talented choreographers, videographers, um, dancers, and just living in it is just a real pleasure. So we're just really grateful for everyone that jumps on board and, and makes it all a reality for us. It's been really fun to see the joy that you bring to so many people from day one, but you just seem so much infused with joy more and more each time I see you. And you started more or less as a duo and opened it up to a full band right from the beginning, but you seem to work more and more with collaborators every year. And it must be so incredible to open up that perspective so much more and bring in all that talent and learn from others and get to work with people that you admire. Tell me what Volcano was like, because you've worked with more people than ever before on this record. Lydia, um, first and foremost among them. Hello. Obviously Lydia, who's uh, <laughs> one of the most talented people I know. So yeah, she's brought so much Thanks, to the uh, project. You're welcome, mate. You're right, mate. <laughs> Likewise. Yeah. And then um, across the record, you know, Channel Trez, Eric the Architect. And, and loads more other amazing artists. And I think it's just part of the kind of natural evolution of what Jungle was always supposed to be. What's it like when you're starting to write a song to be able to envision somebody else instead of your own voices making your own music? Like, I mean, the sky kind of is the limit. I mean, you can't get probably every single person you could think of, but how does that change songwriting for you to think, boy, we could really bring something different in here? I think it just opens it up to um, be anything you want it to be at any moment you want it to be. And I think that's really important in creativity and in music. So it just gives us that freedom to, you know, do whatever we want at whatever time we want. There's such a warm, organic feeling on Volcano. And it's really interesting. Um, more and more over the years, I hear about people creating their own home or practice-based studios so that they can make music without the constraints of time and the budgets required in studios. But you've kind of gone back old school and created those constraints of time and money for yourself. Talk about that evolution for you and that decision and how it's worked for well, you. I think that came from the second record where we, we built a studio in the garden and then we spent four years scratching our heads, which was uh, fun. Um, so I think um, you know creating a process where it's really short and you have a deadline kind of inspires you to complete it within the time period and it makes the energy very focused to that moment in time, which I think is what makes great records. You know, all these years later, we've talked about it before when you've been here in studio about that four years and how sort of emotionally grueling that was for you to have the pressure. In in some ways, it's like a, 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 a learning experience for many people about that time to feel the pressure of a second record, but people keep bringing it up over and over <laughs> still to this day in interviews. And I just feel like um, I want to ask, do you love that record? Because I do. And it does seem to sort of hold a space for you of a lot of emotion. Yeah, I think we learned a lot on that record. I think there's some songs that took forever and some songs, uh, some songs that took five, 10 minutes. So we tried to hold on to the ones that took five or 10 minutes to make and, and take that energy and, and run forward with that. You know, you can't think about Jungle without thinking about the videos for your records. And you talk about it being sort of an all immersive art experience, not just the music about with you. And you really did something different. I mean, I love all the videos, even the simple ones from the first record, but you've really gone like out into the stratosphere with this latest record. Can you talk about the concept for this one? Well, the concept is that um, they're, they're set on, it's set on this sort of mysterious TV show where all these jungle music videos have been set over the years. So it's sort of a contextualization of, of that concept. But we were lucky enough to work with an incredible choreographer who we met recently called Shay Latukalan, 
it just brought a whole different level to it. It kind of started juxtaposing the dances and having interesting movements against different sounding songs. And um, it's the return of Will West, the great Will West from Casio, who, who's one of the most incredible dancers we've ever seen. And sort of he just really embodies, embodies the movement of, of uh, what Jungle is all about. So, yeah, we, we were super excited. Will's a star, isn't he? Hell yeah. Apparently he's got music on the way, so... Oh, that's exciting. Get him in for a session. <laughs> well, I'm not the greatest dancer in the world, but I love dance, and it's clear you do too. You've incorporated it from the beginning. I'm curious, sorry, are you two good dancers? Could you be in those videos? Well, we've prepared, prepared something for you right now. Tom, do you want to jump into the middle and show them what you were working on yesterday? <laughs> I just embarrassed my own mum. My mum's a dance teacher, so <laughs> she's probably a little bit disappointed that I didn't uh, didn't go down that road. But um, I, I, look, it takes those guys years and years and years to become as good as they are. And I think just can we on. see one move? No, come, on, come on, come on, Tom. No, it's too just early. One, one, one time. If you come and see us at if you come and see us at Wamu later, you'll see some moves. All right, here we go. That's the plug for the some show. <laughs> you do move pretty well on stage while you're playing those instruments, but I'd love to see you break it down in one of your music videos. And every time you come in, I tell myself I'm going to practice, 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 and break it out. I love how you have that available for your fans to also be able to learn those moves and and make videos. It's just a super fun aspect of the whole jungle world that just brings me a lot of joy and it's so happy makes me so happy to see how much joy it seems to be bringing you thank you very much well thank you so much always for making the time to stop by i know it's quite a production to do these sessions and always love seeing you and the whole band thanks everyone for coming in the new album's called volcano and i want to thank all of our wonderful listeners and viewers as well for making sessions like this possible you can find out more about us at kexp.org and subscribe to our youtube channel you'll get notification every time we launch a new video and if you want to help support Great music like this and discovery at KEXP. Make a gift anytime at kexp.org. Thanks again. We love you so much. Thanks, Susie. Thank you. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.